Now when it comes to turkey hunting, well there's a lot of ways to go after turkeys. I like hunting them out of blinds, doing spot and stock, but one thing I wanted to try, it was fanning. Fanning is extremely exciting. And before you do it, number one, you wanna make sure it's legal in your state, but number two, Safety has to be your number one concern. I've seen people do it. I've personally never fanned in a turkey. But when you're in an area that has as many turkeys as they have here at the roost, this is a great way to do it because you can pull those birds away from the group that they're with and bring them right on in. Most of the sides you'd like to maybe try to fan one in and see if she could get one close. And uh, we kind of ran through the basics, which it's not real hard to do, but she was struggling with it. <laughs> <laughs> so I crawled all the way out there. My cameraman stayed behind me. Jeremy was on the other side. We're calling. We had the one hen come through. I'm laying out there and this is my first time fanning. So I'm thinking, okay, this is working good. I had my gun, I had cameras on me. And uh, she got out there and nothing came. She even had a hen in front of her. She couldn't even get the hen to come. And then I'm looking, I didn't see Jeremy anymore. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe they heard something. We had just a golden opportunity to sneak up on her and maybe try to scare her a little. So uh, I went out there and as, as I got closer, she kind of kept looking behind her. My cameraman's still calling, so I'm ready. And all of a sudden, Jeremy comes from behind me, grabs my ankles, and I about jumped out of my skin. I don't know if I thought it was a big turkey or what I thought it was. You know, I didn't get her as good as I thought I was going to get her. She took it pretty well, but it was fun anyway. <laughs> that setup didn't work, but it gave me an idea of how things were going to be, and I was confident that I'd be able to rise up and hopefully take a turkey like this. Our second setup when we were trying to fan in, we uh, we had spotted the birds and we got down to where we thought we could get to them and we started going through some brush and it was loud and we made a bunch of noise and when we got to the edge we really didn't have much cover but uh, we still got the turkeys to come in, they just came in really, really slow. And we thought if we can get in front of them, if I can crawl out into the field, hopefully I can get out there and fan one of these birds in. Well, I got out crawling in there, having a hard time trying to bring cameras along, and I had those turkeys probably 30 yards. They just kept coming and coming. None of them really wanted to come into the decoy too bad, and Melissa elected not to shoot, which was fine. It was, it was a fun setup, and it was fun to see them anyway. Wasn't the best setup, but I did what I could. We moved on from there, and we were gonna try it one more time.